Yay. Okay. All right. Welcome to the quarantine, Warriors. It is Wednesday and it is Speed Strength Day, but um, as we have been doing on Wednesdays, we are going to continue with doing uh, quite a bit of mobility at the beginning, and then we're going to go into our Speed Strength workout, and then we're going to have an awesome ab finisher afterwards. Um, with this Speed Strength workout, um, it's designed for kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, that is okay. Um, you can use a, a dumbbell, and that is fine. I'll show you how to do it both ways. Um, uh, let's see. So. Um, with this month, we're talking about, uh, besides finishing up our quarantine challenge, um, we, are, we are working on breathing and we are working on uh, water intake. So again, guys, like, you know, trying to hit that two liters of water a day is, is super, super important. Now, based on different activity levels, though, you might need to increase that water level. And if you're ever in doubt, if you're thirsty, you got to drink more water. All right, it's that's that's a pretty that's a pretty simple uh, uh, tool to utilize. Um, as far as story of the day, um, I'm going to talk about uh, we, we, we for the past couple of weeks we've been talking about these like workout snacks and these these digestible um, little bits of workouts that you can do when you're not feeling motivated to actually do the full workout and. Um, in line with that, I have been uh, working on a certification for the past couple weeks, and it's going to take me quite a while to finish this up. But um, in order to do it, I've been trying to schedule and chisel out a very, very specific hour of my day so that I actually get the studying done. And um, I have, uh, on many, many days, not hit that hour at all. Like something else uh, through work has interfered into that time or maybe even cut into a half an hour of it. And then I'm like, oh, that's it. I've missed my hour. Oh, well, you know, now I'm just going to go into my next tax task that I had scheduled. And part of the certification is actually talking about how to be successful with it. And it's also talking about these um, study snacks, basically. And some days, you might just like need to read a page and just reading that page might lead to reading two pages or three pages. Um, when I was aggressively putting in that hour a day, some days that's just not gonna happen because different things are going to affect that. So maybe I only get to study for a half an hour a day. Or maybe it's only 15 minutes, maybe it's only a page. But any one of those things is fine because it, it's it, like even 10% effort is successful. It doesn't have to be 100% all the time, you know? So just wanted to uh, share that with you if that's applicable to you in any way that you can utilize that in your life. Um, I know that that happens with me with meal prep a lot. Like there are just date, like I, I only make enough food for four days and on that fourth day, I gotta make that food. And it's like some days I just don't wanna do it. But if I just grab the cauliflower and I just stick it in the oven, okay, well then, then I'm, then I'm just in it. I'm just in it and I just got to finish my task, you know, with that. So anyway, that's my little, my little, uh, my little story of the day. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get into our mobility. So grab a mat. And again, um, we're going to be doing this speed strength workout today. So if you have a kettlebell, awesome. If you don't, then uh, grab a dumbbell. We can do any of these exercises with any of that. Renee in the house. Hello. Oh my goodness. Look at this class today. I am so excited. Okay. All right, guys, we are going to start on the floor. All right, we're gonna go into our Cossack stretch. So I'm in this quadruped position. I'm gonna stick my leg out to the side. I'm gonna rock back and forward, rock back and forward. Now, I don't know about you, but my hips have been feeling it. Sitting in my chair so much more than I'm used to. So we're gonna rock backwards and forwards about 10 times. And now we're gonna do leg lifts. So give me five leg lifts. Try to point that belly button to the ground. Try not to lift that hip up. Try to really keep that in the glute. Josh, can you turn that down just a little bit? Rock it backward and forward. Rock it backward and forward. We just switched out our legs. We got a 7 a.m. party happening. I am super, super excited. All right, being gentle, being gentle with those groins. All right, lift that leg. Give me five leg lifts. You're only lifting it up as high as you feel it in that, in that glute, guys. Ah, yeah. 
All right, so since we're down here, let's go ahead and do some hip circles. So I'm gonna bring my knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Let's go five that way, drawing this really nice big circle with that knee. All right, then let's reverse it. Take it up and back, out to side, elbow and down. Four and five. All right, guys. Next, we're going to do our hydrants. So just go ahead and lift that bent leg up to the side five times. Four, five. Nice. Hydrants on the other side. Knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Nice. Three, four, five. Great job. Bring it the other way. Reverse it. Draw that nice circle with that knee, keeping that leg at a right angle the whole time. Four, five and lift it into those hydrants. Four and five. All right, let's sit back on our heels. Let's grab our hands together and we're just gonna rotate those wrists. Our wrists are really feeling it too, being at our computers all day. Now let's reverse it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go into our shin boxes. So what I want to do is I want to have knee to foot. I'm going to try to keep my chest and back as upright as possible. If I need to, I'll utilize my hands behind me. But right now what I want to do is point my belly button over that front knee and I'm going to fold it over. So what I'm not doing is I'm not arching my back. I'm keeping my back really flat and I'm coming down. So I'm going to feel this on this outside of this thigh, this nice stretch, hold it, come back up and switch it out. All right, so knee to foot, folding over, holding it, breathe into it. Give me nice deep belly breaths. Let's switch it out to the other side folding it over. Really be cognizant of where you're feeling this in your body, all right? What part of your leg are you feeling it? Do you feel it more on one side, the stretch, than the other? Ah, yes. Awesome. Okay, guys, now we're going to go into our frog stretch. One of my favorite stretches. So we're going to come into kind of this quadruped position. We're going to be on our forearms. We're going to widen out our knees. We're going to have our feet come straight off of our knees. And then we're going to push our butt back into, uh, back against that wall. And now we're going to squeeze our knees together. So pull that earth together with your knees for five, four, three, two, one, and now release. So I'm gonna to move to the side so you can see me from the side. I'm going to rock it forward to get that tension off those legs, readjust, all right? Then I'm gonna push back into it and grip the floor with my knees for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, next we're gonna go into our pigeon stretch. We are going into our high plank, bringing that knee forward in between our hands. Going to keep that tension in that back leg. Want to make that back leg straight. And then we're going to try to dip this opposite hip, the hip that's over that front foot, turn it down to the ground to level out those hips. Still keeping that tension in that back leg. 
Give me another couple really deep, beautiful breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Switch it out, bringing that knee forward in between those hands. Bringing that hip down to where this foot is, but keeping that tension in that back leg, keeping that leg straight. Big breath in and out. Big breath in and out. Nice. All right. Guys, let's come up onto one knee. We're going to bring that pelvis forward. We're going to come over this front ankle just a little bit. We're going to do our half kneeling arm circles. So I'm going to bring my arm forward. I'm going to keep my rib cage down as I reach forward. My hand is facing this back wall. Now I'm turning my shoulder and my hand to face you. Now it's facing the back wall. And now I'm turning my hand up to the ceiling, coming back down. All right, now we start at the back this time. Palm facing up, rotating that shoulder and that hand to that back wall. As it comes up, I'm rotating it towards you. Now it's rotating back to that back wall again. Coming down. And let's switch it out to the other side. So pushing that back shoelace into the ground, pelvis forward a little bit over this front ankle, keeping that rib cage down. As I reach, 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 rotating hand and shoulder at the same time. This side is way harder for me than the other side. Palm up, down, bring it back the other way. Woo, rotating shoulder and hand as one unit. Coming back. Nice. All right. Now, guys, we're going to go into our downward and upward dog. So I'm going to widen out those feet. I'm going to come into this A-frame position. I'm going to widen out my legs as far as I need to in order to keep them straight. And then I'm going to pedal my feet. All right, so I'm pedaling. Four and five. Next, guys, I'm going to go into this dive bomber. So I'm going to bring my chest to the ground. I'm going to come up. I'm going to keep that tension in my legs, keeping my hips off the ground, getting this nice stretch at the top pulling my shoulders down as I bring my neck up, and then I'm going to reverse it. All right, then I'm gonna pedal. All right, going into my dive bomber. Into my upward dog. Feeling that stretch. Whoo, come back the other way. Nice. All right, guys. Next, we're going to go into our I, Y, W, and T. So what I want to do is I want to start in this bent row position, OK? And then I'm going to bring my arms next to my ears so they're real close into my ears. And then I'm going to bring my arms back and up. Now, when I bring them back and up, I want to get this nice stretch at the top and then come back the other way. So you can play with the bending your legs in order to feel your hamstrings activate. Don't curve that back. Keep that back flat. Give me five eyes. Feel this stretch in the tricep at the back. Four and five. Nice. Now we're going to go into our Y's. So for my Y, I'm just at a 45 degree angle, still in that bent row position, coming down, touch my hands together and up. Give me a nice, give me a nice pause at the top. Four and 
five. Awesome. Now we're going to go into our W's. So for my W's, my elbows are together, my hands are together. I'm in that, bent, that hinge position, coming out to the side and down. So see where my hands are, are hitting, guys? They're right at the same level as my shoulders as my elbows pull back. And I'm squeezing those shoulder blades. Four and five. All right. Next, I'm going to go into my, my T's. So my T's are just directly out from my shoulders. All right. So I'm here, pausing at the top. A little bit forward, there we go. It's the one nice thing about Zoom, I can check my form. Three, four, and five. Nice. All right, guys. Next, let's go into our deep squats with hamstrings. Stretch. So I'm going to come into my Deep, wide squat position, coming down as low as I can. Touch those toes in the front. I'm gonna rotate out. I'm gonna rotate out. Then I'm gonna grab my toes, and I'm gonna try to straighten my legs as much as possible, feeling this stretch in my hamstrings. Woo! Stay here for a second. Come back down. Rotate out. Rotate out. Grab those toes, straight, straighten those legs. Ah, let's do one more on each side. Whoo, straighten those legs. Nice, all right. So, next guys, what we're gonna do is we are going to go through our circuit, our speed strength circuit as part of our warm up, so that we get used to each of the exercises. Now again, I, I said at the beginning that you can either do this with a kettlebell or you can do it with a dumbbell or some sort of weighted object, but I'll show you both ways of doing it. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my mat because it's just gonna get in my way at this point. I'm gonna grab some water. I'm gonna demo everything with a kettlebell and with a dumbbell. You guys have what you have, but we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 20, I'm sorry, we're gonna do 10 of each of these exercises as far as our warm up is concerned. So for my kettlebell front squats, I'm gonna grab my kettlebell. I like to hold it upside down by the horns, widening out those feet, squeezing those glutes at the top to start, come down. I want you to make sure that you're hitting depth Depth is super important with this, guys. Go ahead and give me 10 as far as our warm-up is concerned. Now, if you have a dumbbell, that's fine. You can grab your dumbbell like this, or you can grab it in a goblet sort of formation. Go ahead, give me 10. Now, be very, very cognizant of that depth. I don't want any shallow squats, all right? And then we have our kettlebell swings, or if you have a dumbbell, I want you to grab it hand over hand, all right? And widen out our feet just a little bit. I'm gonna start back and up. Coming to shoulder level, I'm gonna bring my hips forward. If you're doing it with a kettlebell, we always wanna start in this hinge position with it hiked forward, coming back and up. Letting that kettlebell pull me over. As soon as I come to the top, I'm push, getting those lats to activate, push down. My hips are what's propelling it up and my lats are what's pushing it down. Now, a lot of times, guys, when I'm watching people do the kettlebell swings, I'm seeing them reach out of it. Don't reach your arms out of the, the uh, don't reach your arms out of the shoulder sockets, all right? I want you to keep them in, almost like you have a towel in your armpits coming up and down. That's gonna help keep those lats activated. All right, and then we have our push press. So for my push press, what I wanna do is hold onto my kettlebell. I like to hold onto it this way again, upside down. I'm gonna come into this quarter squat. I'm gonna use my legs to help propel the kettlebell up, and then I'm gonna catch back into it on the down, all right? So go ahead and give me 10 of those. Again, you can do this 
with a dumbbell, no problem. Coming down into this quarter squat, using those legs to help propel that weight up over your head. Just make sure you're catching back into it at the bottom. Go ahead and give me 10. Nice. Then we're going to do our forward lunge and return. So holding on to my dumbbell as a goblet, we come into this forward lunge and back. So I'm doing all this on one leg first, giving me 10 on the right, and then give me 10 on the left. Guys, put all that weight into that front leg. Use that front leg to push you back. For my left leg, I'll show you with the kettlebell. Again, I find it easier to hold it like this. Some people like to hold it with the horns forward. Whatever feels comfortable for your hands. Trying to get that knee to be about an inch off the ground in the back. 10 on each side. Feeling it, feeling warmed up already, guys. All right, next we're gonna go into our curls. All right, so my stance is a little bit more narrow, squeezing those glutes, curling up and down, up and down. Now, if you have two lighter dumbbells, that's great. If you don't have two lighter dumbbells, maybe you just grab one heavier one coming up and down. But I want you to make sure you get that full extension with those arms, guys. All right? So like no three quarters, full extension. All right? 10 of those for our warm up. Now, when we're actually in the circuit, we're gonna go way faster than that. But it's super important that you maintain really, really good form with this, guys. And the count is gonna be, we're gonna do 10 kettlebell front squats, 20 swings, 20, I said 20, push presses, then 10 forward lunge and returns on the right, 10 on the left, and then 20 curls. So basically the only thing that we're not doing 20 of is our front squats, all right? So go ahead, get some water before we start. We're gonna do four sets of this. So after we're done with one set, we're gonna rest for about a minute, and then we're gonna get back into it again. So going into my kettlebell front squats, widening out those feet, pointing those toes out to the sides, coming down and up as explosively as you can, making sure to hit that depth. We're doing 10, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Going into my kettlebell swings or your dumbbell swings. Hiking it forward to start. And we're going fast with it. Twenty, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, nice job everybody, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Going into my push press, all right? Narrowing up those feet a bit, coming into that quarter squat, push it up, 20 of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, Catching at the bottom, eight, nine, and 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. All right, that was 20 push presses. Now we have our lunge and return. 10 forward. Three, four, trying to go as fast as we can. Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Switching it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Going into our curls, narrowing up those feet, full extension, three, doing 20 of these, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Nice, 10 more, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So guys, remember, now we're gonna rest for a minute, but remember, it's 20 of everything except for the front squats in the beginning, okay? So let's go ahead and get some rest, drink some water, super important. So if you're super gassed, and you need more time to rest than a minute. Not a problem. Take more time. All right. Get that recovery in. Want to make sure that your form is perfect. Please don't let that form get sloppy because you're tired. All right. So we're going to go back at it here in about 20 seconds. All right. Woo! Great job, guys. Coming in here on a Wednesday, getting this work done. All right. Coming in here. Coming in here. Yeah, virtually. I love it. So guys, this time I'm gonna do this with my dumbbell. Going into my front squats. Widen out those feet, get that depth. Depth before dishonor. Four. Five, really squeeze those glutes at the top, guys. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now 20 kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings. Start in the back, coming up, hand over hand, squeezing those glutes at the top. Confusing myself this morning. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. It's so nice to know that you can do these swings even if you don't have a kettlebell, right? Just really make sure you're letting that dumbbell pull you over. Same form applies. Getting 20 of these. Nine, 20. Awesome. And I got my push press. Coming into this quarter squat and up, catching down into it. Three. It's one solid movement, guys. Catching into it at the bottom, like the weight is helping you drop down. And then your legs are what's propelling the weight up. So locking out those legs at the top. Squeeze those glutes. Do 10 more. 420. All right. Then I have my forward lunge and return. So guys, also, if you are feeling gassed, maybe your weight's a little too heavy, do it without weight. That's totally fine. We're trying to hit speed today. This is one of the only days we want you to go fast with the exercises, short of when we have you sprint outside. And then we definitely want you to go fast. <laughs> Switching it out with these forward lunge and returns. We're doing them all on one leg and then all on the other. Nine, 
10. Going into my 20 curls. Squeeze those glutes, guys. Keep the, that pillar of your body really strong from your feet to your knees to your butt to your abs. Okay, make sure you're giving me 20 curls. All right. More rest. Yay. We only have two more sets left, guys. I need more water. We got a minute of rest. Hopefully feel your heart rate's up. You're feeling good. If you need to, rest. Rest with your arms up or in superhero pose. We never rest bent over. You're not doing your lungs any favors in a bent position, all right? Okay, so this time when we're going through, I'm gonna come up and if you guys have your screens on, I'm gonna look at your form, all right? And that was a minute. So we're starting with 10 front squats, 10, I promise. All right, so grab whatever you got, widen out those feet, point those toes out, and give me 10. All right, nice. There you go, Brenda. That's great depth. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, then you're gonna go into your 20 kettlebell swings. Nice, here we go, here we go. Nice job. You guys, these kettlebell swings look amazing. Yeah, just really lock out those glutes at the top. Really use that to propel the weight forward. 20 of those. If you're done with those and you're going into your kettlebell push presses. Get a little deeper, Renee, just a little bit deeper. There we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, nice. Joe, utilizing the medicine ball. I like it, I like it. Nice job, Heather. Yep, try not to bend forward, Heather, on the down, trying to keep your, your back upright as you push up and down. There we go, 20 of those. Ah, oh, there's a kitten. A kitten butt in the picture. Oh my goodness. Hello, kitten. Got our forward lunge and returns. Makes it pretty taxing when we're doing all on one leg, but it's super, super good for this workout. Lunge and returns, 10 on the right side, then 10 on the left. Here we go. Yep, trying to keep those that chest upright with this, guys. So we're not leaning over with it, keeping our chest upright. Beautiful. Renee is blasting through. She's already on her curls. And that's it, guys. You go at your own speed with this, right? You can go faster than me. You can go slower than me. Just try to go as fast as you can, yeah? And then, when you're done with that, you're gonna go into your curls. All right. Nice. I like it, I like it. All right. Great job, warriors. All right. We are resting for a minute. And then guess what, guys? It's gonna be our last set. Last set. Yeah. Getting that good rest. Bringing those arms up if you're feeling super gassed, trying to get as much oxygen in to your body as possible. Try to take deep, deep breaths, guys. Deep into your belly breaths. A lot of times we breathe really shallow. We just breathe into the upper part of our chest. Try to get, try to really make sure that you're feeling that belly full of air and then you're expelling it. 
You're gonna get your heart rate down so much faster if you're really, really thinking about that breath. All right? Okay, nice. Okay, we got about 20 more seconds of rest. And then we're going back into it again. Super excited. Go as fast as I can with this. Getting set up. And get after it if you feel you're ready to. 10 squats. Deep, deep, deep. Get that depth. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Then I got my swings. Hiking it forward, back, and then up. Twenty of these. Use those hips to power you up fast. Use those lats to push it down fast. Breathe, guys, breathe. Ha! Lost count, that's okay. Throw out about five more. I think that should be good. And then we always end in that same hiked position. All right? Now I got my push press. Coming down into it and up. Catch it. Throw it up with those legs, guys. And breathe. Twenty of these. Nice. Woo. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Woo! Then I have my forward lunge and returns. All that weight, guys, goes into that front leg. It's the leg that pushes you back also. Then I switch it out. Getting that depth with that back knee, keeping my torso upright. Nice, and then I got my curls. Woo, 20 curls, what a burner. Yeah, when you're done, get your water, get your rest, then we're gonna go into our Tabata ab finisher. Whee! So grab your mat again. And uh, for our Tabata ab finisher, try to leave out maybe a light weight, because we're gonna need it for a couple of the uh, ab exercises. So, getting my mat set up. Getting my timer set up. Before we actually go into the Tabata, let's just do about five each of these exercises just to get used to the motion of it, okay? So, the first thing I'm gonna do is my triangle crunch. So for my triangle crunch, oops, let me fix my mic. My knee, I'm sorry, my ankle is over my knee, arms behind my head, and what I'm doing is my leg is out straight and then 
my leg comes towards my chest and my shoulder blades lift off the ground and back down. All right. So the key to this is getting those shoulder blades up as you're bringing that knee into you. Give me five on each side, guys. Switch it out. Two. If you did these yesterday, you might still be feeling it, huh? And then we have our toe touches. So for my toe touches, I want this part of my leg to be at a right angle to the ground. My upper part of my leg, or the, my calf part of my leg, is gonna be at about a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna reach up towards my toes. So go ahead and give me five of those, getting those shoulder blades off the ground, trying to reach up as high as you can. All right. Then guys, I have my rainbows. So grab a weight if you have one. If not, that's okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our weight to the side coming up overhead and then down to the other side. Up overhead, down to the other hip. You wanna make this harder, keep your feet elevated. But what I want you to make sure is don't curve that back with this. Keep that back straight as you're coming up and over. It's hard for me to look at you and do this at the same time without falling over. Let's go ahead and give me five of those. All right, and then we have our TFW twist. So for my TFW twist, I can either have my toes on the ground to help me out or I can elevate my feet. But again, guys, I wanna keep that chest flat. I'm gonna bring the weight in close to my chest and then I'm just twisting at about a 30 degree angle just over my thighs. So this is not a big movement. What it is, is a quick, precise movement, all right? The thing with this is about getting it fast, getting it fast, all right? So when we're doing the Tabata, we're gonna do two sets of the Tabata. So we're gonna do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna do the triangle crunch for 20 seconds, rest, toe touch for 20 seconds, rest, rainbow, 20 seconds, rest, TFW twist, 20 seconds, rest. We're gonna do that one more time through. Okay, so let's get set up. Take a little bit more water. Whew. It's warming up in here in the dojo, guys. All right, and we're gonna start with our triangle crunch in three, two, one, hit it. Get those shoulder blades off the ground. And what you're gonna do, guys, is you're gonna remember what leg you have up now, because the second time we do this set, you're gonna have the other leg up. All right, now we're switching it out to our toe touches, okay? We're reaching up towards our shoelaces, and we're going now. Get those shoulder blades off the ground. Ah, reach. Got about five seconds left. Ah. All right. Transitioning into our rainbows. Taste the rainbow, guys. And we're going. Keeping that chest up. If you need to put those feet on the ground, that is okay. You will make it harder by keeping those feet elevated. All right, got about five seconds left of this. And resting for 10. Then we're going right into our TFW twist. Woo, yeah, here we go. Side to side guys, quick movements, quick movements. Keeping that chest up, keeping that weight in tight to the chest. Ha ha, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, and we got four seconds left. You got this. Keep that back, keep that back flat. Keep that chest up. Going back to our uh, triangle crunch. Use the other leg, guys, this time. 
and we're going. Pull that leg towards the chest as you come to meet it by getting those shoulder blades off the ground. If you need to go slower, that is fine. If you need to rest, that is okay. Just make them good. Ha! Ah, toe touches. This part is perpendicular to ground. This part is at a 45 degree angle. Oh, get that lower back in the ground. And we're reaching. Ha ha. Ugh. Reaching up, get those shoulder blades off the ground, guys. Three, two, one. Switching out to our rainbows. Ha. Huh. Wonder if we're gonna see some rainbows today, guys. It's Portland, it's possible. Ha. Huh. Get those arms straight at the top, going from hip to hip. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I am feeling my abs on fire. Two, one, rest. TFW twist, this is the last one, last set. And we're going now. Woo, boom, boom, boom. Just to the outside of those thighs, guys. Tiny little quick, quick, quick movement. Boom, boom, boom. You got this, you got this. Ha ha. Ha. And five seconds left. Woo, that's a long five seconds. But you can do it, you can do it. Yeah. All right. Guys, we're gonna grab some water, and then we're gonna go into our homework. Oh, so proud of you. That's, a, that's an intense workout. Say that every day, I think. Every day it's a little different. Every day it has its own difficulties. Oh, but we got this. All right. So guys, for my Cossack stretch, I'm sorry, my Cossack lunge, we're gonna be doing 10 of these. So I'm gonna step out to the side, come into this lunge, coming up on this heel, coming back in, Stepping it out to the other side. 10 on each side. Pulling that butt to that back wall. You got this. Okay. All right, guys. Ten on each side of those. And then I have my four-point hip mobility. So I am in this quadruped position. My shoulders are over my wrist. And then I'm going to swing my knee out as I bring my foot forward, and I'm going to tap it. And I'm going to go slow and controlled. And I'm gonna do 10 on each side. So guys, what I'm not doing is I'm not lifting my butt up in the air, I'm not pushing back on my shoulders. Keeping those knees low to the ground, just like when we're doing a sit out. Swinging that knee out to get that foot forward so we can tap it. Eight, nine, 10, ha ha. And then we have our archer planks. So I'm widening out my feet for stability. My hips are about the same level as my shoulders. I'm gonna drag my arm along my chest. I'm gonna follow my hand with my eyes. I'm gonna come back down. I'm gonna switch it out. 10 on each side. All right, five, whoo, seven, eight, 
Taking it slow. Nine and 10. And you did the thing. Yay. Super proud of you guys for doing that workout. Sometimes all it takes is a little snack, a little exercise snack just to get us going. Sometimes all we want to do is the mobility, but sometimes when we do the mobility, it makes us feel better to actually go into the workout itself. I'm talking about taking tiny little digestible pieces of anything that we're doing just to get the task started sometimes and get us into it. Maybe we can only have time for a page. Maybe we only have time for a five minute walk outside instead of a 15 minute walk. Do what you gotta do to just get into the thing that you're trying to do as opposed to, oh, I failed, I'm not even gonna try now. You know, so give yourself permission to forgive yourself. Don't blame yourself if you can't get started on something. Just try to do as best as you can at any given moment. Again, they've re the research has shown that 10% of effort is successful, you know, so don't think you always have to give 100%. Anyway, but we're here to help you guys bring forth the warrior within. Make sure you schedule your time with Josh so we can talk about goals and we can talk about uh, returning to the gym and your schedules and all that, okay? So there's a lot going on in that conversation. Yeah, my favorite was when Brenda's cat's butt came right across the screen. It was at a perfect, a perfect moment. There's nothing funnier than a cat butthole, I think. That's, that's just me. I guess I'm a little weird. Hi, baby. Look at you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs>